Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my very first unboxing video. Today we will be unboxing these four starter decks for the One Piece card game. It is a brand new game from Bandai that came out in Japan. I think it was this year's summer and it just got its Western release now in December. I got my hands on these a little bit late because of some um, delays in the delivery here in Finland, but they are here finally. I'm so excited. I can't wait to open them and play with them. So without further ado, let's get started. We got four decks here. First one with the uh, Straw Hat crew. Second one worst generation and third one the Seven Warlords of the Sea. And with the fourth one, the Animal Kingdom Pirates. Let's start with the first one, the Straw Hat crew. Let's put these aside. And let's see. What cards this uh, box has? Let's see how have they packed this. Hmm. Oh, it's actually pretty tight. I don't. Now let's see. I don't want to completely break the box. Oh, there's tape here. Wait. Let me. Let me get a knife. <laughs> All right. I'm back with the knife. I do not want to damage the box too much, so we're gonna cut the tape. Nice and clean. There we go. Let's see how does this part open. Wait, is there more tape? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh this is very secure. It's like they don't want us, anyone to steal them or anything. Oh, this is super tight. Let's see. There we go. It's these are actually very big boxes. So here we have this uh, this rule leaflet teaching you how to play the game. And I think here I think it's the play mat. Yep. All right. Let's put that aside. And here's the deck. Let's check it out. So first we have the 10 Don cards. All right, here is the uh, leader Luffy with the effect of uh, once per turn, give this leader one or one of your characters one rested Don card. Then we have, uh, I think it's, it's two Luffy's. Uh, it has a rush, five cost, a 6,000 power, and would done two when attacking your opponent, cannot activate blocker during this battle. Very strong card. Then we got Rorono Zoro with Dawn X1. This character gains 1,000 power. Ooh. These cards so far have been looking really good. I like them, I like them. Here we have Usopp to cost 2000 power, done to when attacking your opponent cannot activate blocker that has 5000 or more during this battle. Okay, so you can like disable the enemy's attackers, I mean blockers. That's nice. We got a play set of them. Then we got four uh, Karus, uh, one play cost and 3000 power. Uh, it's the anime art but I kind of don't like this thing where they have like a completely white box over the art they could have gone like just uh, full full card, card art next up we got Sanji Dawn X2 this character gains rush we got a four play set of them next up Jinbei with a three play cost and 5000 power Dawn X1 when attacking your leader or one of your character is other than this card gets 1000 power during this turn. Okay, that's nice. A play set of them. Nice. It's very nice when you get like four cards in a starter deck so you don't have to buy extra to get all the cards that you need. Here we got Tony Tony Chopper. One cost and 1000 power. Blocker after your opponent. Yes. Declares an attack so you can block attacks. Nice. Then we got Nami. Uh, Play cost is 1 and power is 1000 and 
once per turn give one rest at dawn card to your leader or one of your characters i think these were in this uh tutorial deck that you could get at these uh events for free yeah i think this is the, the that one that we got a uh, for Nico Robbins with uh, three play cards and 5,000 power, it's a vanilla. And see here, this is very nice. Like there's no uh, unnecessary white box to block the art like there was in the case of Karu. I wonder what happened there. But yeah, very nice. Then we've got four uh, of VVs, uh, two play cards with 4,000 power. Then we got uh, four Frankies, just uh, four cards, 6,000 power, vanilla. This art looks looks nice. And here we got Brook. Brook uh, with two play cards, three thousand power, and on play, give up to two rested dawn cards to your leader or one of your characters. Oh, sounds good. Then we have uh, option cards. We have two copies of Guard Point. It costs one, and it has a counter effect of your leader or one of your characters against. 3000 power during this battle. Okay, nice. And we got two uh, copies of Gum Gum Jet Pistol. Main effect uh, KO one of your opponent's character with 6000 power or less. Nice, so it's used to destroy the enemy uh, characters. We got two uh, Diablo Jambes. Main effect is select one of your Straw Hat crew, type leader, or character cards. Your opponent cannot activate blocker if that leader or character attacks during this turn. Ooh, okay, so getting through the blockers. Then here, last, uh, we have two copies of Thousand Sunny uh, with the effect of uh, you may rest the stage and one straw hat crew type leader or one character card on your field gains 1000 power during this turn, so it just gives 1000 extra. Okay, so with the option cards, you only get two copies of each. So if you would like to get a playset of those, then you will have to have to uh, buy two copies of the starter deck. All right, that was the uh, first one. Let's move on to the next one. All right, all right guys. Next up is the uh, second starter deck, Worst Generation, with a uh, useless kid. Let's. Check it out. There we go. And the most difficult part where you have to shove your whole finger in there to get it open. Oh. This folds in such a funny way. I and mean, look at this. Wait, wait. I got this. I got this. Oh. Oh. Do we got it? There we go. All right. All right. So first off, the ten Don cards that come with uh, every every deck. So for those who do not know, these are basically used as a uh, very similar to a uh, mana system in like Hearthstone. Yeah. All right. So. Here is the captain, uh, uses captain kit with a uh, 5,000 power, like I think all the leaders here have 5,000 power, yeah. And activate main once per turn, uh, three costs, so you may rest the specified number of, of done cards in your cost area. If you do that, you may trash one card from your hand, set this, this leader as active, so by doing that you can, I think, attack twice with him. That's a very strong power, and then, like from what I've seen, he's he's been a very strong um, meta captain in the um, in this OP one format. Next up, we have a uh, Trafalgar Law. This is looking really good. I love this art. Uh, five cost, six thousand power, with an on play effect of set one of your supernova or hard pirates type rested characters with a cost of five or less as active. Okay, nice. A lot of uh, unsuspending attack in this deck. Then here we got, ooh, useless Captain Kit, uh, 7 cost, 7,000 power. It is a blocker with uh, Dawn X1, end of your turn, set this card as active. Ooh, okay, that sounds really strong and I really like the art. So I think 
yes these and the la these are the super rares and in the luffy deck this zoro and the luffy they were the super rares there we got Vito, three copies of Vito, uh, three play cost, 5,000 power, just a vanilla, and again with this uh, redundant uh, white box. <laughs> Next up, we got two copies of Euroge, two play cost, 3,000 power, Don X1. If you have three or more characters, this card gains 2,000 power. All right, uh, sorry if I'm uh, butchering the names. Next, we got four copies of uh, Capone Gang's Beje. One play cost, 1,000 power, and it's a blocker. Very nice. I think that this is, it sounds like a very good card. We've got a play set. So, next up, two copies of Killer. Three cost, 3,000 power, on play effect. KO one of your opponent's rested characters uh, with a cost of three or less. Okay, nice. Oh, we got Kobe. Uh, four copies of Kobe. It's a vanilla uh, for play cost and 6,000 power. The art is nice. I like it. Kobe looking good. Next up, we got Jewelry Bonnie. One play cost and 1,000 power. Activate main uh, cost one. You may rest this card. Look at up to five cards from the top of your deck. Reveal one Supernova's type card and add it to your hand. Then place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. So it's a searcher card. It's gonna be very useful for copies. That's very nice. Then we got Scratch Manapu, two play cards, three thousand power, Don X one. When attacking, rest one of your opponent's Don cards. Ooh, that's nice. So, so if the enemy has left one Don for uh, any counters, you can uh, null nullify that with this with this uh, Apu. Very good. Then we got two copies of Basil Hawkins, uh, five play costs, 6,000 power, Don X1 once per turn, you're done only during your turn. If this character battles your opponent's character, set this card as active. Oh, so if you battle an uh, opponent's character and you win, uh, that's what I'm assuming, then you can set uh, Basil Hawkins back to active. Very nice. Then we got Heat. Uh, two cost, 4,000 power vanilla. Um, not really liking the art here, and this box is, uh, yeah, not feeling that. And we got Beppo. Oh, this is cute. One play cost, 3,000 power vanilla with 1,000 counter. Got four of them. Then we, here's X Drake. Four play cost, 5,000 power. Don X1, your turn. If this character is, is rested, your supernovas or navy type leaders and characters gain 1000 power. Okay, nice. Four copies. And here we got uh, Scalpel. Uh, one cost, it's a counter card. Your leader or one of your characters gains 2000 power during this battle. Then set one of your Dawn cards as active. And with the trigger effect of, of setting up to two of your done cards active. Okay, nice. Two of them. Then we got we got four copies of uh, Repel. Two play cost counter your leader or one of your characters gains four thousand power during this battle. Then set one of your done cards as active. Okay. Then lastly, two copies of uh, Straw Sword uh, with the effect of. Rest one of your opponent's character. Nice. Very nice. So a, a lot of uh, resting and unresting plays very similarly to the green decks in uh, Digimon. Yeah. Nice. Let's get to the third deck. Alright guys, time for the second deck. The Seven Warlords of the Sea with uh, Crocodile in the... Uh, in the leader position. Let's get those tapes off. I'm trying very hard to be uh, elegant here, but uh, it is very hard, guys. Very hard. There we go. The box is open. Oh. 
Nice. The room leaflet and the cards. There we go. Let's get this protective sleeve out of there. There we go. First, we got the 10 Don cards. Boop. All right. So, Crocodile uh, with, with uh, power once per turn, Don minus 5. Ooh, return one character with a cost of 5 or less to the owner's hand. That's interesting. So, you have to pay uh, for Don's to return a character back to the owner's hand. It's looking very good. I like these uh, leader cards in this uh, starter deck. They have all looked very, very nice so far with the foil. Next up we got a uh, Crocodile again. A uh, 5 cost, 6,000 character card. Uh, he has blocker and Don X1 on block. Plays one character with a cost of 2 or less at the bottom of the owner's deck. Okay, and then we got oh, Don Quixote do Flamingo, seven cost, seven thousand power on play. Return one character with a cost of seven or less to the owner's hand. Nice, so a lot of uh, returning cards to the owner's hand so far. Then we got Edward Weevil, three play cost and five thousand power, vanilla. Again, what is up with this box? I do not like it. Four copies, very nice, and we got Gecko Moria, four play cost of 5,000 power, on play at one, the seven warlords of the sea or thriller bark pirates type character with a cost of four or less other than Gecko Moria from your trash to your hands. Okay, uh, that sounds neat. Some uh, discard pile recycling, oh, two copies, okay. Then we got Draco Mihawk, 4 play cost, 5,000 power, oh, with a counter of 2,000. Don X1, when attacking, draw 2 cards and trash 2 cards from your hand. Nice. Then we got Jinbe, 2 play cost and 4,000 power. Jinbe is looking nice, except for the box. Here we got Sentomaru, 3 play cost, 4,000 power. With the effect of uh, Don X1, once per turn, uh, by resting two Don, you may play one Pacifista with a cost of four or less from your deck. Then shuffle your deck. Oh, so you can go look for the Pacifista from the deck. That's uh, that sounds pretty strong. Next up, we got Trafalgar Law with one play cost and one thousand power. Uh, it's a blocker. Nice. Four copies of Law, the Blocker Law. Then we got uh, Bartolomev Kuma, two play cost, 3000 power. On play, look at three cards from the top of your deck and return them to the top or bottom of the deck in any order. Okay, so rearranging the, uh, the, the top draws of your deck. Oh, buggy! Oh, just a vanilla, one play cost, 3,000 power, and again, this box. This box is really not cool at all, but you know what, guys? Uh, I think they have heard some of the feedback from the, the uh, Japanese release at Bandai, because for the second set, I think they have removed pretty much all of these uh, unnecessary boxes from the vanilla cards. So next up we got the Pacifista it's himself. Uh, four play cost, six thousand power. Nice. You can search this with the uh, Centom Maru. Oh, Boa Hancock. Uh, play cost of three and one thousand power. And she's a blocker with a trigger effect of playing this card if uh, she comes up in from your uh, life cards. Nice. Next up, uh, Marshall D. Teach, 4 play cost, 4,000 power, with an on-play effect of return, one character with a cost of 3 or less to the owner's hand. Nice, then two copies. That's it for the character cards. Next up, uh, options. We got Sables, 
uh, with the effect of return one character with a cost of seven or less to the owner's hand. Ooh, voila. So from what I'm seeing, uh, blue is a very controlled type of deck, huh? Trustpad Cannon cost two and counter return one character with a cost of three or less to the owner's hand and with a trigger effect of uh, activating this card's effect and then we got a uh, love love mellow two play cost and with effect of counter effect of uh, your leader or one of your character gains 4000 power during this battle then draw one card if you have three or less cards in your hand okay so good counter that gives your characters power and uh, lets you draw if you are uh, low enough nice that was the uh, blue deck all right guys next up is the uh, fourth deck and the last one from the bunch oh am I not hitting the right spot there we go we got a uh, Kaido with his uh, animal kingdom pirates oh. Boop, boop. There we go. All right. Let's get into it. Ooh, here it's the plastic thing is this way. All those three decks, it was uh, sideways. But okay, okay, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> All right, so. Let's take the ten dons out. All right, here is the uh, Captain Kaido. Oh, looking very menacing there. Very nice. Uh, with the eff effect of a once per turn, don minus seven. Trash one of your opponent's life cards. Oh wow, that that sounds like a very strong effect, but you have to pay a lot of dons to do that. Yeah, Kaido looking good. All right, and we have the character card Kaido here. Wow, that's a big card with a nine play cost and 10,000 power on play done minus five. Um, KO one of your opponent's character with a cost of six or less. This character gains a rush during this turn. Nice. So you get to delete an opponent's character and you get rush. Then we got a uh, king, uh, six cost and seven thousand power on play. Don minus one, KO one of your opponent's characters with a cost of four or less. Okay, so the feeling we're getting so far is there's a lot of uh, KOing. All right, so next up we got a uh, ulti with four play cost and five thousand power, with an on play effect of Don minus one. Play one page one card with a cost of four or less from your hand, and she has a counter of two thousand. That's really good. Four copies of her, and we got Queen, five play cost, six thousand power. He's a blocker, and with an on play effect of Don minus one. Draw two cards and trash one card from your hand. All right, two copies of Queen. Then we got Sas Sasaki. Three play cost and four thousand power on play. Don minus one. Draw one card. Okay, letting you do some drawing. Four copies of Sasaki. Then we got Sheepshed. Uh, two play cost, four thousand power. Vanilla. Four copies. Then we got Jack, 3 play cost, 4000 power, on play effect, you may trash one card from your hand, add one card from your Dawn deck, and set it as active. Okay, so a card that gives you Dawn, while well, most of these uh, have Dawn minus effects. Then we got Jin Rummy, 1 play cost and 3000 power, just a vanilla, with 1000 counter. And we got Who's Who, 
3 play cost and 3000 power on play Dawn minus 1. KO one of your opponent's characters with a cost of 3 or less. Okay, this is this sounds very strong. You can like KO some small blockers that almost all the decks seem to have. Black Maria, 2 play cost, 2000 power, and she's a blocker for copies. Nice. Oh, this is the page one. Now see, it's vanilla, but it has a full card art. Like, why could they could not have done that with the other <laughs> vanillas? I don't understand. So, four play cost, 6000 power. There we go, and x Drake. Oh, I like this art. It's a uh, manga art. So, three play cost and 5000 power. Vanilla. There we go. And the options here uh, lead performer disaster with four play cost. Uh, you get to draw one card, then add one card from your Dawn deck and set it as active. All right. Like the art. Two copies. Then we got two copies of uh, Brachio B Bomber with a cost of six. Uh, KO one of your opponent's characters with a cost six or less. Then add one done card from your done deck and set it as active. Okay. And if if you uh, trigger it, then you can only add the done card from your done deck so you do not get to a KO. Okay. Two copies of that. Then we got uh, Blast Bread. One cost, uh, counter effect of Dawn minus one. Your leader or one of your character gains 4000 power during this battle. Nice, four copies. And then, oh wow, we actually got four copies of uh, Onigashima Island. Uh, it's a stage card with the effect of uh, you may rest the stage if your leader has the Animal Kingdom parts type. Add one done card from your Dawn deck and rest it. Okay, so this is very good. You, can, you get four copies of these. Uh, with the uh, Luffy deck, you only got you only got two copies of the stage, and I think the, the Straw Hat deck and this one are the only ones with this with the stage stages uh, from all of these four decks. And yeah, with that, uh, that was all the decks. I hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, and hope you guys are all excited for the game. Please do let me know in the comments uh, what color has you most interested so far, and which uh, starter decks are you planning to uh, pick up. Uh, for me, as of now, I have to be honest, I haven't decided yet uh, which one is my favorite. I'll have to get, get playing with them and see uh, which color could be my thing. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye!